my name is Adesanya. Oh, people call me Desanya Sax Maestro. I play saxophone for a living and I'm here to play a few tunes. <laughs> I grew up in Lagos, graduated from Alabisi on Banjo University, Computer Engineering. I started playing saxophone like about um, 10 years now, 10 years ago. Music generally um, has always been on my mind right from the time. And so saxophone was so expensive then. So I needed to start from the drums, then the piano. And uh, okay, when I got into school year one, yeah, I could save up um, some funds to buy the saxophone. So my parents, you know, they weren't interested in all that. She wanted to study, study what's uh, you know, the medicine, law and all that. Okay, I found myself in engineering. So um, my love for music um, was the drive, gave me the zeal and all that. So I graduated with a 2-1 uh -huh, and, so, and I was doing everything side by side. And, so. <laughs> I studied the trade personally and met with people. Yeah, some things are not learned, they're actually caught. You know, when moving with somebody, you get to, yeah. I bought books, basic trade books, wrote was on exams and all that. And so, practical wise, um, learn from people, materials, get videos, what's up. Uh -huh. So, that's about it. Make your passion your profession. I'm a professional saxophone player. I'm a businessman. I'm a minister of God. Yeah. Even the Bible says the gift of a man make its way for him. Yes. I was coming from somewhere before I got there. I'm immediately I'm out of here. I'm going somewhere. So I play events, weddings, birthdays, um, cocktail, AGMs, end of the year parties, carols, and, and all that. Yeah. So that's business. Um, there's a business side to it. Okay, and then there's the ministry side and church. I play in church, RCCG, Solid Rock. Yeah, so it goes um, side by side. It's important. You, if, if I don't make money from it, I won't look. I wasn't this big before, and then so. I moved with people who had gone ahead when I wanted to start off. You need to get close to people who have gone ahead of you in anything you want to do. Yeah, don't limit yourself to people who wanna be. So I moved to people like Shegun Lua Yomi, the saxophone player. Yomi Oyelade, Shegun Atoyebi, Mike Haremu, BJ Sax. Yeah, so those are my friends. The kind of music that appealed to me is any music with content. It doesn't really matter if it's a philosophical song. I like Sounds of Town a lot. I don't know, Ajoda Bile, that's where you go making noise. Yeah, those are songs that appeal that you can play over and over. These days, our songs last for three months. Uh, the general song people sing now, and after three months, everybody forgets about it now. But now, at events, we even play songs of Christy Bokwe, who is late, mommy and everybody's dancing. Yeah, if you listen to the lyrics, you would see that there's a lot of sense in it. So, any music with content appeals to me. <laughs> Keep watching New Day on NTA2 Channel 5. Peace out.
Very, very uh, good instrumentalist and one of Tubosun's many crushes, yes. <laughs> in his dream or in your dream? <laughs> you were the one before we start, when we started the show, the introduction, you were waxing lyrical about the guy. Now you're denying. Make up your mind, please. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> okay, we're moving straight on to the footprint segment. And today on the show, I would say we have um, an icon in the house because this is somebody who has been doing something for so many years. It's a pleasure to welcome in our midst today, Mrs. Sarah Bolos. It's nice to have you with us. By the way, I know that um, you were born in Burkina Faso and you grew up in France and um, Burkina Faso as well. And now, you should I call you a Nigerian because... <laughs> 20 years in Nigeria. It's a pleasure to have you with us. You. You're currently the president of the Society um, for Performing Artists in Nigeria, is that yeah. right? Good. How's it been? How's the journey been so far so good? Exciting. Exciting. Challenging. Challenging. And it's a learning experience. It's yeah. a learning experience. Mm, lovely. Okay, now, Ivan, mm -hmm. can you just continue well, to ask well, a question? I, I, just, I just had to recover. I know it's not. Because you, 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 you think that you are so beautiful and we don't have beautiful guests on the show. But so I just <laughs> had to take time to recover. You know, it's, it's, it's good. It's good to have Mrs. Sarah Bolo. No, we are, we are many. We are, we are, so we are so lots so of beautiful women around. Right. Right. And so we know so the ugly guys don't see them. You are fine. <laughs> there's, there's, there's fine. There's decent. There's beautiful. Okay. We I have mean. a beautiful man in the studio with us today. All right. Okay. So I had to take time. You know, drink in the sight and not do it for you. <laughs> Thank you. Good afternoon, Mrs. Sarah. Good afternoon. Yeah, so um, how was it? You know, what brought about the birth of Span uh, 10 mm. years ago here? Mm -hmm. what, what, what was the reason why, you know, you created it? Because I know, you, apart from being the chairman, you're also the founder of yes. the body. It was actually a God's calling. Oh. I was looking for a purpose. And uh, during my Bible study, when my expatriate ladies' Bible study, uh, one of the lady that was guiding us on how to hear the voice of God um, mentioned to me that I had to dance for the Lord mm -hmm. and everything started unfolding slowly. I picked up a book called The Purposeful Driven Light by Rick Warren which my best friend Tanya gave me and here we go. God is very quick. Huh? <laughs> when you ask him for something he will put you under the test. Oh, yeah, true, That's exactly right. what happens. So after the fifth day of reading the book he revealed to me like life was a judge and a test and then mm. span would be my test and wow. he showed me everything about span and that's why i am here today oh, fantastic to us i mean it's it's rare for me to hear um, people relate what you're doing even to the um you know from the side of the spiritual so i mean it's it, this is the first time I'm a lot of people don't acknowledge especially mm -hmm. in public because mm -hmm. they don't want to they don't want to be categorized yeah. I've got no choice I've been arrested 10 years ago <laughs> <laughs> so um, aside dancing do you play musical instruments no I don't you don't okay but um, so far so good dancing what did it, what is it about this thing that um, gives you so much fulfillment the <coughs> the gift of dance is a very special gift because it's it's, uh, it's a language that is silent but yet has a voice in the sense where you exercise the gift, you are able to communicate with people that you don't understand, their culture, their language maybe, their lifestyle, their way of being raised. But when you come on the stage and you are sharing or teaching, there is a common language which is the movement. And I believe the gift of dance gives an opportunity to remove all kinds of prejudice in your life and build a new community. So it's very important for us to look at dance from a holistic point of view. Um, music has different kind of genre of music. Dance does too, but mostly it doesn't speak. It only mm. speaks by movement. Mm -hmm. So it's extremely silent in its sense, but at the same time it brings life. Mm. It can be used to pervert and it can be used to bring challenges, bring understanding and bring a story out. And that I think it's more difficult. And at the same time, you have to make the right choices. So I think choosing dance as a gift helps you go through the path of life in a different way. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, opens your heart to other horizon. You have to yeah. think outside the box. True. The way you're giving this lecture it sounds like a university course. Dance. <laughs> How long have you been dancing, by the way? I have been dancing since I was five years old. Oh, oh okay. okay. And uh, talking about courses and you know lectures, we know that you know span as well. Uh, some of the you know say students on diet have yes. been given different courses sometimes you know, we know that uh, the money they get after performing you know for span mm -hmm. is being used for the education mm -hmm. you know purposes so how you know 10 years ago when you, did you start this uh, music and education 10 years ago is something you just started a short while ago actually 10 years ago we started right away in my garage we're teaching people for free and we're trying to empower them so that they can get jobs in the area of their gifts. Music came within three months from the dance uh, uh, career, mm -hmm. but we did not develop the music department until we had somebody who could actually manage it properly. It's a very complicated uh, process. Mm -hmm. When it comes to dance, it was a trial and error, where it did not exist in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Nobody tells me 10 years ago that there was any dance school that really existed. Today they are everywhere, they are flourishing sure. everywhere because of SPAN. And so God had a plan, a specific plan to use his people to develop an area of the economy that was non-existent. And also I can name you so many banks who never even looked at talent as a mean of income. I entered First Bank and they made fun of me when the first time I asked them for support 10 years ago. Yeah. And look where they are doing now. They are, they are sponsoring left and right yeah. and they are using my staff that I've trained in my garage to do different yeah, jobs, yeah. you know. I can name them, Stambik, all of them. <laughs> and <laughs> they are using my staff today. So I'm like saying that, did I look stupid when <laughs> I came into your office? <laughs> so it's very interesting to see that in Span, we develop an education where you can either be a performer or a teacher or both. Now, if you want to be a teacher, there's certain very strict rule we've learned over the years yeah. for you to teach because you are interacting with children you're interacting with different adults, there is a way of communicating. You're not performing for a show. You are actually teaching and impacting on people's lives. So now, because of our trial and error kind of process of growing, we have installed a code of conduct, a rule. And so we used to be more lenient, which we are not today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we've been hearing so much about dance, mm -hmm. band. Let's mm -hmm. get to know you. Mm -hmm. Your family life. Are, yes. you the are you the only person in your family that dances? No. Okay. Well, uh, what do you mean? Like children, siblings? Siblings, children. Yeah, we were seven and uh, now we are six okay. in the family. And, uh, and then I have four kids mm -hmm. and I've been married for 28 years. For 28 years? Mm -hmm. Does he dance? <laughs> yes, he does. He does. Who does? Not professionally. Who, who does it better? <laughs> He's Behind very well, he has a great balance. Uh, oh. Who does it better? <laughs> I mean, that should be. Meaning that he has a better rhythm and a better balance than I do. Oh, okay. You seem to be a very nice one. <laughs> you don't want to say, I do it better. No, no, because it's a reality. I can't dance with everybody, he can. Oh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go for a break. I'll be back um, with our guests. All right, thank you.
Okay, I mean, so many stunts there. If I get them, I'll try. <laughs> I'll try one or two. <laughs> if I fall, so so I you, hope somebody will be so there so to so carry what, me. <laughs> what did you say you try once? Uh, excuse me. No, I, I okay, don't to, worry. I'll come to your school to, to learn. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't trust no, no, this guy. No, yeah. If I fall down, we will only say... I will live in this. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, you should have told me since now. <laughs> I just come and leave. Hey, hey, hey. That's what you should have said. Hey, since. That's what you want to hear. I'm going to cook for you. Don't you worry. Forget. We are living together. Forget that one. Forget food is not a problem. All right. Okay. I mean, we saw. He said, she said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So we saw beautiful uh, choreography there. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful dance steps as well. You know, it's quite interesting. Like you said before, we went on the break. Ten years ago, dance in Nigeria. You know, was not uh, as buoyant as this. It was not as vibrant. It as was this. not professional. People were dancing, but well, they didn't have an avenue. Exactly. Now, it's respected. Like, you know, mm -hmm. What what particular change? What brought about a particular change? I think first is the spirit of excellence. When you are able then to differentiate yourself by going on stage before an audience and feel okay. that is coming out on stage that we've okay. seen in the past where you are able to mix, use your own indigenous culture and then another commercial viable yeah. Western way of dancing, where you combine <laughs> dance was everywhere, but commercially it was very hard for <laughs> but When you start mixing it with the Western dance yeah. and you start teaching people how to manage themselves, how to empower themselves, how to bring their own dance studio, and you have a spread. Oh, okay. Most of my teachers are teaching in all the public school in uh, all the private school in Nigeria. Oh. So it's very interesting that they've been hired left and right. That span has become a name to reckon with. So if we give them a certificate, and that certificate reflects who they are exactly, mm -hmm. that's why we're very specific about what kind of certificate we give today. Then they go out there, they present it, they said, okay, did you study in Span? Come in. And they are hired right away. Oh. Wow, fantastic. It's very interesting. A beautiful yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> 10 years ago. Um, for those that want to, you know, go into this line, yeah. Yeah. what would be your advice for them? The advice is very interesting. <laughs> Sacrifice. Oh. Um, maybe ridicule. Uh, commitment. Mm -hmm. It's a long process. It's not easy because you have to first. They were not born in the like in the West world. Everybody dances. Yeah. But here they dances only with African dancers. So if they want to use not only African dances but other dance style, they need to break their body. So it requires a lot of molding and flexibility change. So you need a lot of commitment to train and practice, yeah. hours of practice. And then also need to be able to face a reality that do I do it for a passion? Mm -hmm. Because I won't be a billionaire, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I will live a very nice lifestyle, I will have a family, but I will have some struggle and challenges. And challenges. Okay. Because it's still the beginning of an enterprise. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what I advise them is to decide, to pray. And if the Holy Spirit tell them yes, and if they are not born again, let them find God. Because hmm. he will then guide them to see whether or not dance is part of their gift. Okay. 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 Um, we didn't actually include something yes. in the profile, but I think I'll rather call you an evangelist because I can see you starting evangelizing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, do we have Twitter questions? One of them. Uh, okay, let me go straight to Twitter. Uh, okay, yeah, this one coming all the way from Karimat. Oh, Karima, interesting. Uh, Karima is asking, you know, are there uh, events or tours that you do on a regular basis? Yes, we are actually going uh, to And Lebanon. she wants to know the venue as well. Okay, we're going to Lebanon, Beirut. Last year we were in France, in Dark, the oh, festival Span? in Chateau Yes, okay. a group of Span people went to learn and they performed. This year we are going to Lebanon okay. and it's going to be a 10-day trip. We're going for certification program in Washington State, oh. where we can really get our head of dance to be a, have a creative dance certificate. And we are also planning to tour in West Africa, and this is on a story that I've produced. Mm. Oh. You're also a storyteller. So many things to write about. <laughs> yes. Evangelist, dancer, storyteller, and yeah. also very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much.
Okay, any more question? Uh, well, not for now, not for now. But uh, okay, no, we're, we're done with Twitter for now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank it's you. time for us to let you go. All right, thank and, you. And um, thank you for sharing your experience You're with so us. You're so welcome. Okay, mm -hmm. 10 thank years, you. it's no base. Exactly, no and you know, we hope that SPAN continues to grow, you know, Every Definitely, year. I'm sure it's going to grow. Yes, <laughs> it is. I am pretty we, sure too. Oh, okay, right, then. Mm, thank you. Okay, it's time for us to say goodbye. We hope you enjoyed this edition. Yep, yep. Keep a date with us once again very soon. My name is Tuboson Gilbert, and then the next time you see me, I'm sure I'm going to be a better dancer. <laughs> well, the next time you see me, I'm very, very sure that I would have had enough food in my stomach thanks to, to Tuboson. Oh, in your dream. <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now.